Hello, this is Vasvi from Atom Tuition. Today let us learn the proof of Pythagoras theorem based on similar triangles. So what does the theorem state? It states in a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, right? So here I have drawn a right angle triangle ABC. So first let us write what is given. Triangle ABC in which angle ABC is equal to 90 degree. Okay, this is what is given. Now you need to prove the hypotenuse, the square of the hypotenuse. Here the hypotenuse side is uh, for the triangle ABC is AC, right? So you have to pr prove that your hypotenuse square, that is your AC square is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So the other two sides are AB and BC. So the sum of the squares of those two sides. So this is what you need to prove. Okay. As it is they have given you the triangle ABC. I just constructed this line BD which is perpendicular to the side AC. Okay. Which is the opposite side of the vertex uh, 90 degree vertex B. For the proof, first I am going to divide this picture. Now I have taken the triangle in triangle. See the same, uh, the, uh, the left side triangle, small triangle, I have just drawn it separate uh, from that of the big triangle just for you to understand. Okay. So now I am going to take triangle ABC which is the bigger triangle and here you have triangle ADB okay I just took these two triangles let us see what is common here now you find in triangle ABC this is 90 degree right yeah this is a 90 degree angle so I would say angle ABC is congruent to angle ADB right because they both are 90 degrees so I can say right angles right both are right angles because they are right angles angle BAC of the bigger triangle okay that is this angle is here also right so this is equal to angle DAB understood and the reason is AB is a common angle. It is common for both the triangles. Common angle. Okay. So you have got two angles of this small triangle equal to the two angles of this bigger triangle. So I can say therefore I would say triangle ABC is Similar to triangle A, D, B. Right? And the reason is by angle-angle postulate. Okay? Two angles are same. Right? So, similarity postulate. Since these two triangles are similar, the sides are proportionate. Right? So, I can write that AB over AD is equal to BC over db right which is equal to the corresponding side of c that is a no, of b that is your ac over ab now let me take these two alone where i have ab okay i just take these two okay this i got by cpct okay from these two let me write that those two which i've circled alone separate here so I get AB over AD therefore AB over AD is equal to AC over AB okay so that implies when you cross multiply okay I just cross multiply so I get AB squared is equal to AC times AD I just take this as equation 1. So we, we got 
from what you need to prove I just got this a b square right okay next I'm going to find out the b c square okay next so I've got equation 1 next I'm going to take these two triangles okay the right side triangle and the bigger triangle and let us uh, compare this, those two okay so here now I'm going to do in triangle A, B, C and triangle B, D, C. Okay. Now, this is two triangles. These two triangles I have taken. Now, you know this is 90 degree, right? The bigger triangle has 90 degree at B. Yeah. The same way as you did before. Let us uh, find the similarity between these two. So, I would say angle... A, B, C is equal to angle B, D, C which is equal to 90 degree each, right? So, both are 90 degrees. So, they are same because they are right angled. So, and then you find this angle congruent to both, right? So, I can say angle A, C, B is congruent to triangle B, C, D okay yeah the C and C here these two are same okay fine so I can say these two are because they are common angle right for both right so now you got two angles equal so I would say triangle ABC is similar to triangle AA criteria right ABC is similar to triangle BDC now let us write the correspondence. Oh, okay. Yeah, here you have to say that it is by a a postulate, right? Similarity postulate. So you can write this a a criteria. Now you can write the corresponding uh, sides like a b over b d equals b c over d c, which is equal to a c over bc right so we got the next one bc square is what you need to prove right so this bc square for this bc square i just take this and this okay i just circle i'm going to take these two alone so that implies bc over dc is equal to ac over BC. Now cross multiply these two. You have BC square is equal to AC times DC and I take this as equation 2. Now let us add this AB square and BC square that is I am going to add equation 1 and 2 okay. So we know that your AB square where we have done it here, right? AB square is equal to AC times AD. Okay, let me write this first. AB square plus BC square is equal to. I've just added the left hand side and here the right hand side would be AC times AD. Add. This is your AB square and this side it is AC times DC. So that implies you can take your AC out. So that becomes AD plus DC. Okay. Now what is your AD plus DC? Look at the picture. Your AD plus DC is equal to AC, AC right? So I can say this is AC times AC and that is equal to AC square. That implies AC square is equal to AB square add AC square. Proved. 